Or with Priyanka. Season two of Quantico gearing up to start this Sunday. Congratulations. Thank you very much. First of all, I have to say, let's go back to last weekend. You at the Emmys, that dress was <laughs> everything. And you were like living your whole life, just twirling. <laughs> yeah. You know what happened was that the first time I got onto the carpet, I realized that my dress matched the carpet. So I was, it was an all red moment. Uh -huh. And then I was like, oh, I have this massive chain and I just started having fun with it. And the photographers were like, oh, turn, twirl. <laughs> After that moment, everywhere I went, people were like twirling the pictures. <laughs> so all I was doing was twirling all night. You were like a real life Disney princess. Yeah, it was I really amazing. Was. It, it was, was amazing. So it was it was a beautiful dress, and Jason Wood did a great job. It was incredible. All right, back to Quantico. <laughs> yes. Talk to me about season two. How are things different this season aside from having this guy on board? Ah, <laughs> 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 back. <laughs> <laughs> But we are so excited to have not just Blair Underwood, but some amazing new cast members that we have on the show this time. And uh, the show, I mean, if I may say so myself, is much bigger, much better than it was even last season. If you liked last season, this one's going to blow your mind. That's it's, a bold statement. It is, and I take full responsibility for it. <laughs> amazing. Blair, tell me about your character, Owen, and, and how it was joining this already amazing show coming into season two. Okay, first of all, let me just say, I'm having the time of my life. With this one and this cast, and it really is a great cast. Like half, like we have five or six cat new cast members, yeah. and they were in New York for the first time. But yeah, so my character Owen is the lead instructor at the CIA, so he's the teacher of these recruits. And if you watch the show, you know it's like a dual timeline. So you got training and everything else going on in the world mm -hmm. in the future. So I do a lot of the training, and I talk a lot. I talk a he lot. He has monologues that I just are go like on five and on pages and on. long. <laughs> and I'm usually she's usually falling asleep in the front row. Like, no, Dude, really? <laughs> Could you talk faster, please? Like a good student, I'm online shopping under the desk. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. While the teacher talks, mm -hmm. she loves it. <laughs> she's either twirling or tweeting. <laughs> twirling or tweeting. If you write your autobiography, that'll be twirling yeah. Twirling and tweeting. Twirling and tweeting. Um, so we've seen some of the trailers coming into season two. We've seen you in it. We've also seen like a hostage situation going on. What can you tell us about the episode that we're going to see on Sunday night? Well, um, it's a massive opening to a show that people have loved around the world. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, there is a terrorist aspect, a terrorism aspect to the show, and it's huge and extremely terrifying. And this year the show is a little darker mm -hmm. in, its, uh, in its approach. So uh, the stakes are extremely, extremely high. And at the same time, Alex is recruited in, into Langley as a CIA, and she's in over her head this time. I think with the FBI, she she's someone who's honest and, and has integrity and true, whereas the CIA is all about amorality, deceit, and lying. So she's just, That's what I you know, know. <laughs> he's That's really good at that. Mm. You should ask him how good he is at it. <laughs> um, okay, tell me, I want to play like a little bit of a game here. Tell me something we don't know about Blair. How is he Ooh. on Ooh. set? What's a, se a set secret that we wouldn't know about him just, you know, from watching on TV? Easy, well, easy. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure people know about this, but you know, all the women on set, I mean, even if they're having a conversation with me or you or anyone else, will have their eyes on this one. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying. I'm like, no, I'm like, listen, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she's we like, have a full room of people, like, but Ariana everybody's Factor looking is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm of like, course. what? what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. At this. I'm, I <laughs> but believe when it. this one starts with his baritone voice and his monologue, it's like, it's a lost case. Yep. I mean, every, it, well, that's all very funny off. because, you know, all the crew, all the guys, <laughs> mm -hmm. and all the actors coming in, it's, mm -hmm. it's just the, I don't know what she's talking about. It's like, dude, man. It's like Listen, that. as they should. Not, not as they should. <laughs> <laughs> as they should. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It must be hard for all the, like, regular looking people in the room because you guys, as you know, you're both saying right now, it's a very attractive cast. Let me just put it this way it's a prerequisite if you want to be on the <laughs> You have yeah. to look a certain you way. Have to look a certain I way. realize that. As soon as I see the cast, I'm like, okay. So, right. um, yeah. I just want to put it out there. <laughs> Everyone in the FBI and the CIA does not look like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just a skinny version. Just, yeah. Um, so, outside of Quantico, you're both also extremely busy. I want to talk to you for one second about Baywatch. Tell me mm. about how shooting that has been. 
see. Well, it was chaotic because I was shooting Quantico while I was shooting Baywatch. So oh. I was filming Quantico and flying back for the weekends mm-hmm. to Miami or mm-hmm. and then flying back. I don't know how Paramount and ABC sat together, worked out my schedule in a way where I didn't have weekends, but I could do both together. Right. But Baywatch is so much fun because I play the antagonist in the film. Right. And I take on the entire squad and make their lives completely miserable in an extremely evil, delectable, feminine kind. How was that? I mean, because the part was originally written for a man, for right? A man, yes. So you you just were like, Mm-mm, this is <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually, it wasn't my idea. It was Seth Gordon, the director's idea. Amazing. After we spoke and everything, he was like, "This is what you have to do. This, this is," mm-hmm. the, and I think he put the pressure on everyone to sort of work it out. But uh, he came up with it, and he loved the idea of Dwayne having a female antagonist because. He wouldn't know what to do with her. Right, right. Because Dwayne's used to crushing his antagonist in one second. And he's like, boop, done. Yep, yep. So with me, he was like a little... <laughs> which he said to me after we did our first scene together. He was like, I, did you, are you a girl? I don't know what to do. Yeah. And I'm like, match wits with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> match wits with me. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> You've got the bill and laugh down. That's oh, yeah. like most I practiced important. for days. Good, good. <laughs> um, I know you've also been super busy. You celebrated an anniversary recently. I did, 22 years. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about Give. We've been seeing these amazing like videos of you and Derek Huff and, and all of this stuff. Talk yeah. to me about what Give has been uh, to you. Thank you. No, it's a show I'm very excited about. So I executive produced a show called Give. It's a celebrity and two charities. And basically, it's a win-win situation. Charity. I can talk to you about this, by the way. Please. So it's, it's a way where charities can be exposed and they you see the work they're doing and also give them money and have a good time all at the same time. So it starts uh, NBC, Saturday, October 1st. So please check it out. Amazing, amazing. It's a win-win, like you were it's saying. It's a win-win-win situation. And speaking of a little bit of charity situation, you have an epic weekend coming up. Oh, God. Girl, if you meet Rihanna, I want all <laughs> the selfies. <laughs> well, okay, so you're co-hosting Global Citizens yes. Festival with, I mean, all the co-hosts are incredible. Chelsea Handler, Neil Patrick Harris, the Jackmans. Uh, but then, like I was saying, Rihanna... Um, Rihanna, Kendrick Lamar. Usher, Kendrick Lamar, Metallica, I mean, name it. How do you prep yourself mentally for this? Who are you most excited to meet? Well, thankfully, I'm most, I'm most excited to see how many people turn up. Uh-huh. Because these are tickets that you do not buy. These are tickets you have to earn. Mm-hmm. And what makes Global, uh, Global Citizen Festival so special is that you actually have to be a part of the change to be a part of the concert. And the concert's almost like your prize or your win. And all these artists incredibly have come together, taking out time from their schedules to do this for such an amazing cause. I mean, it literally says that don't talk about the change that you want to see. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Be it. And it empowers you. So I'm excited about seeing how many people turn up. I'm going to watch for you. <laughs> watch for me, too. I'm going to like try and sneak my way in. I'm going to do a lot of charity between now and then so I can... Just yeah. go onto the website and do what you got to do. I'll do what I'll I got to do. I'll Rihanna's dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on blast on Facebook. <laughs> Don't on give blast. away my plan. <laughs> You've been busted. Uh, we are so excited that you guys are here this morning. And for Quantico, which starts this Sunday night. Oh my god, can you imagine Saturday Global Citizen and Sunday Quantico? Oh Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like, we can then pace yourself. Yeah. Don't miss the last 30 seconds. Really? The show's over. It's Twitter. Yes, the last do not. Seconds. That's Don't a great, it, great hint. talking about it. So All right, your not. producer's coming in. This oh. means you guys both have TV to do. Facebook, these guys will be on Quantico, the season premiere, this Sunday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC. For now, though, I, you guys, I guess you have to go do the actual TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrating. I think this is a real thing. <laughs> Thank you. That's Priyanka right. Blair, thanks so much for great joining us this morning. Thank you. All right. Bye.